Iowa-class battleship U.S. Wisconsin was completed in time to serve in the final year of the Second World War against the Empire of Japan. She would fight more wars than she ever dreamed possible. From the ill-fated Vesa to Nelson's Heem's victory, size meant strength. This theory was built throughout the 19th century when ships met at the battle line and attacked each other with cannon fire. By the early 20th century, wood and canvas had been replaced by steel and oil, and the size of the new battleships became something to behold. As tensions rose in the 1930s, navies around the world sought to build bigger ships to deal with conflicts they felt were inevitable. Seeing the rapid expansion of the Imperial Japanese Navy in the late 1930s, the U.S. Navy tried to catch up. They commissioned four Iowa class battleships, among them the U.S. Wisconsin, known by her crew as Big Whiskey. Design of us Wisconsin, although in general naval strategists wanted heavily armed and armored ships of limited speed, Navy leadership sought to strike a balance with us Wisconsin and her sister ships, which would allow the ships to cruise down range and then engage the fast Japanese battle. Cruisers and carrier strike groups then in commission. The result was a giant ship that was also capable of high speeds. At nearly 900 feet long, with a displacement weight of 57,540 tons, the Wisconsin was a sea monster. Her four steam turbine engines, each driving one propeller shaft, reached a top speed of about 32 knots, giving her the flexibility to carry out a wide range of mission sequences, as well as track the fast Japanese fleet. When in range, Big Whiskey could deliver a powerful blow with nine 16-inch guns and three turrets. These huge cannons fired shells that weighed about the same as a small car at a range of nearly 30 miles. To complement this offensive capability were 25-inch guns. In comparison, the Fletcher-class destroyers, which were contemporaries of U.S. Wisconsin, only had five of these guns as the entirety of her main armament. All this adds up to an incredible amount of lead that the ship is capable of producing within its range. For self-defense, designers have deployed 69 anti-aircraft turrets of various types on the hull and superstructure. 